Hello all, welcome to another edition of Let's Play Dwarf Fortress uh, tutorial. This is going to be episode 9, and my name's Bert Knox, otherwise known as Mr. Bert Knox, if you're feeling formal. And we're going to continue working on our fort, getting our industries in order. Um, I guess the first order of business uh, is to figure out what's going on with our insane dwarf. I was kind of ignoring that <laughs> dwarf. Last time I was um, uh, building up our our n new awesome minecart system to haul gold up to the top building. Uh, I guess first I want to take care of this guy here because he is probably going to go crazy. As you see, he's flashing, uh, um, I guess, purple with the exclamation mark, meaning he's possessed or upset. He's building, he's, he's taken over by something and he's building an artifact. Uh, he need. let me check, I'm hitting the Q button to see in the building mode what he needs. He needs bars, metal, which got plenty of bones, yes, bricks, blocks, gems, shining, cloth, thread, leather, skin, mm, tree life. All right, looks like we need some couple things we need uh, some blocks we need some gems we need to make some leather I know I got some cloth thread I, I looked in my thing um, generally they want things in order unfortunately it's hard to see what order they want it in all right so I am going to build a, a tannery hit B for build W for workshop and we want a tanner's shop because we want to make some leather apparently you want some leather Fortunately, our dwarves have left. Uh, build it out of shell. Our dwarves have left. Uh, or their dwarven caravan has left, so we don't have any more. Uh, can't buy leather from them, so they can use it. But we can quickly kill some cats and dogs and make some leather. <laughs> as cruel as that sounds, you it's something I'm going to do. Anyways, they, they're building the workshop. Alright. Q, let's see what this is set to. Tanner shop, add new task. Tan, we don't have any hides to tan. So I'm going to go to. Let's see, pause it for a second. And I'm going to go to B. Not B. V. And. I can't slaughter that. Can't slaughter that. Stray dog. Let's slaughter that. Slaughter that. That's the war dog. We don't want to. And slaughter that. All right, we're gonna slaughter some dogs for tans and. I'd slaughter that if I could, but uh, what's going on here? Okay, let me hit K and see what's going on. Let us, I guess a cat died. I don't know how the cat died. Let me R to see. Horse dwarf. I don't see anything about that particular animal dying. And we'll just check our butcher shop. Slaughter animal is enabled. So they should grab one of the uh, dogs and slaughter it shortly. And while I'm thinking about I don't know if we have any cut gems. He might need some cut gems. So I'm going to cut Morion. Sard. Make some sard gems. I know we got a ton of sard. I'll give him birth to a boy. Don't know what our cooks are doing. That's the problem at this point. There's so many people here. A slaughtering ammo. Okay, that's good. So the tanner should take over and tan the hides. Yeah, the stray dog has been slaughtered. Um, let me go to one of the tanners and turn his working off. I hate the fact that we actually have to. Uh, 
preferences labor I could have hit shift enter to quickly have done that a lot better farming milling tanning and they should tan that hide uh, actually I gotta make oh I forgot I got to enable it Tanner shop add new task Tana hide unrotten uh crud he might not he might be going insane um I wonder why it didn't produce tanning hides we killed the dog normally dogs produce some type of leather another boy was born wait he's doing something what's he doing here oh he made the hide okay he made it alright now it's working alright so my guess was right the guy needed a t hide I had thread I had cloth so everything was ready that reminds me I need to go to C or Z go to kitchen Red weeds for the plump hill and store of wood. I gotta make sure we're not cooking something. We got seeds. I'm making sure we're not cooking our fibers or brewing them. Rotten us or brew sweet pods. Can we brew sweet pods? No, we can't. Red weeds. But we're brewing. I don't know what's going on with that. Orphan wine, chinchilla tallow, dog tail. As I'm pretty sure we have. Uh, red weed seeds. If I check my menu, I was 100% sure we had some fiber. Oh, uh, maybe I know what's going on. Uh, table cups. B. C. I'm going to cook pigtails. Just so we have some. It's A, B, C. I take that back. I am going to go to A, B. I'm going to cook cave wheat. C, cave wheat. D. Can't cook dimple. I'm going to do plump helmets. I'm going to make another. Get B W workshop P not screw press back P another farm plot and where this one's going to be pigtails because we need to make fiber for threads and things because that's one thing I was worried that uh, we were going to run out of and you can actually brew that so let's see da -da -da. all right so this guy's building a construction make sure he's all right. And I was thinking about building the uh, a forge closer to the gold ore. Let me do that. In this is case, oops, back out. D is in David here. And let's build our workshops. All right, I'll build that close. So they have quick access to uh, that gold instead of hauling it all the way up here, which I guess takes forever. He's taking gold there and, and smelting it. They'll have access down here to the smelter to get to the gold. And hopefully the gold industry will be pretty big. All right, I'm going to B for build. Oops, what am I doing? B for build. 
and da, 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 da. it's going to be furnaces. We're going to be smelter. And build a smelter there out of shell. And I'm going to cancel the gold there. So when he finishes making the gold, oh, the guys built the new an Achaea flute. Hmm, that's interesting. So the the crafter built. Now one bad thing about when the crafters are finished, they don't. Let's see, rock pot. We add rock. They do, they take away the, the items that you are creating and you stop making them in the process so you have to kind of go and, and do that alright so when that's done I they're building the thing down there I gotta make sure I've got another smelter so I'm going to go to uh, furnace operator so we already got one turn off his hauling so we got two furnace operators going so we, we're, we should be good I just remember there was another furnace operator that I manually set that wasn't that one, so I know that we're good. All right. I'm tempted to change the stockpile to just be shell, but I don't know. Sometimes you want only certain items, just so you know. You can specifically say, like this Mason's Workshop, um, you can specify in the stockpile, this goes to give to a particular workshop like hit G and it's only going to go to this workshop so that that's where they pull the ore from and since I'm there I'm going to well I'm not going to do that it's it's fine I probably should do that though I think they're pulling the goods from far off I could be wrong let me let me watch one of these characters and see where they're going with it he goes no he grabs the stone right there Normally, if the, the stockpile is close, that's why I built the stockpiles close to the workshop, so they don't have far to far to travel. And unfortunately, I accidentally set these to bins. I need to make more clothes, by the way, I believe. Just in case the people start complaining. Add new task cloth. Make three dresses. Three trousers three socks so our clothing industry is people complain because I normally you want to go ahead and just check these people and see if they're complaining about something uh, static slept without proper room recently ate a truly decadent dish lately dining room so we our cooks are well up in skill if they're eating decadent dishes but I don't see anything about clothes it's a good idea to just kind of randomly select dwarves and just see if they're complaining about something. Uh, I still have a room. Meyer to find. Talk with a friend. Meyer to find statue. All right, everything's good. Now, I wanted to increase the value of my. Um, let me go to nobles. If you notice in here, let's see, we need to set them an office and a dining room. I guess they got decent quarters. All right, so let me go and set him a dining room. I usually put the dining room in the back. R to make dining room. Sign table. I'm going to assign it to the mayor. And for an office, you do the chair instead of the table. So R to select the table. Sign chair. And then do the soldier. All right. So if I go to nobles now... They're only complaining that they need a decent office and decent dining room. It's well, actually, they have a decent office and decent dining room. What they need is, an, or I think they've got an office and a dining room. But what they need is decent office, decent dining room. That's determined by the value of the items in the room. Uh, since it's not that valuable, uh, the room they don't have as good as room as they need. Now, to increase the value of the room, one thing you can do is create gold statues. Let me do that now. I pretty sure we got a bunch of gold out there already since we've been smelting gold let me actually make some more 
charcoal. The problem without a magma furnace is that you have to make more charcoal all the time. That's fine. Uh, da, 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 and we'll make furniture. Using the Q menu to get to it, we'll choose the arrows to gold. And then we'll choose gold statues because they bring a lot of value. I'm going to create eight gold statues to put in their rooms. I think I just did ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oop. Eight or seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Let me make sure what the nobles they wanted. Uh, As def decent office and decent dining room. They already have a decent quarters because they have va they have got a bunch of junk in there. And I guess they're building those walls there. Eventually, I'm going to smooth out the office just to make it. Uh, apparently, somebody was standing in front of this, so I'm going to unsuspend these. I don't know what happened there. Sometimes constructions get suspended for some reason or the other. All right, and hopefully they'll be making the gold items. All right, uh, and I'm going to set this goldsmith or this smelter. I'm going to add new task. I'm going I'm to smelt native gold and hit R. So they should, and also I am going to link this particular stockpile because I don't want them to get the gold from downstairs. I'm going to choose give to workshop, choose that workshop, press enter, and it's going to give to smelter. So anything in this stockpile will be given to that smelter and by default, and they won't go downstairs for whatever odd reason. What is that? I'm going to see what this guy's doing. If he's going to a workshop or sometimes dwarves do stupid things like get or from the wrong wrong area or if he's going to drop it off I think he's going to no he's going to he's going to take it to a workshop yeah I, <sighs> I don't know I don't know why he did that what kind of what's this here large iron dagger Somebody came inside. I guess it was maybe Kobold snuck inside. Yeah, Kobold snuck inside, and I think somebody killed him. That's some of the dwarf's blood that splattered around. Let's check our Z and see our stocks. We got plenty of plants, plenty of drink, meat, other. All right, we're doing good on our stocks. We don't have to worry about that. Oh, hmm. I guess a goblin thief maybe have come in. Goblin thieves can't avoid traps, I've noticed. They just kind of die horribly. And look at this one died and left all this stuff. Now I could do DBC and claim all this, or I can just claim individual items. And one thing goblins are good for, as you can see here, I want to claim his corpse here, is that they drop a lot of free clothes and silk bags. I, I It's kind of interesting that they drop all that oops forgot troll trousers and doors will wear that and when they run out of clothes uh what do we got snatcher protected children there are some of these goblin snatchers that'll try to steal your children you know what i don't really give a damn because we've got too many children as it is if they steal the children so be it i don't really care what are they doing going outside i don't know this is why we uh, oh they're getting the uh cloths and stuff all right so they're good. Um, I'm curious. Can you link? Give for I'll take from pile. Give to pile. I'm gonna see if I can link. Give. I'm gonna see if we can give to like multiple. Oh yeah, you can. That's kind of cool because you can. I'm going to give to each of these masons, craft board, yeah. That's pretty cool because you actually, now I think that'll prevent them from like going downstairs and getting the wrong rock. I don't know. There he goes. All right. Maybe they were just being retarded. I, I don't, hopefully that's, hopefully that's not being offensive to people, but uh, all right. Let's
what's going on here? Smelter. Why wasn't it? Why can't we smelt gold? Why is that not working? All right. I think we're out of. Huh. Well, I can smelt gold. Well, that cannot. Hmm. Let me try something really quick and see if it's the stockpile. That'd be crazy if it was. All right. Give smelter. All right, I removed that. And let's see if that. Huh. Apparently, that's really why weird. It, it can't. If you set the stockpile to, and this is kind of a new feature, so I, it's kind of new to me. It's basically where you actually tell it to choose a stockpile. I told it to choose that one, but it doesn't think that gold is. Uh, I don't know. You got me. I don't know why it doesn't think these. Let me hit K to see these gold or why it can't all these gold nuggets gold nuggets I don't know that reminds me I need to dig some more down here F5 and we needed to dig oops D for designation D for dig Dig. Dig this whole area out. Kind of being sloppy there, but I want the gold. I don't care about anything else. We'll haul that gold upstairs. I don't think we got any other gold. We'll just follow. We'll follow the vein. Usually, when minerals are created, they'll have a vein, and we'll just follow the vein and, and dig it out. And we can probably dig downstairs and get more. All right. Do we have any gold statues yet? Did we? No, it's still in the process. You let me hit the U button. See what we got. Yeah, there's somebody creating a gold statue. So we got one of the blacksmith. Uh, so we got somebody gold mill smelting gold. Harvest plants. All right. Another thief. Where is he? I can't even see him on the map. Yeah, I don't really care. It's cobalt thief. Another one? Snatcher this time. I don't know. So between the cobalt thieves and the... Oh, it's a goblin snatcher. Oh, he runs away. Normally goblin snatchers, they won't fight. Go sometimes goblin thieves will fight. And some of them turn out to be really awesome ninjas and kill your kill your uh, dwarves. All right, let me check my noble screen. All right, he, st he still needs more value in his room. I guess I could... Um, is that the mayor? I make sure I assign that bed. Yeah, it's set for the mayor for whatever reason. That's probably the mayor's wife. Let me look at that because the, the, if somebody's married, they're allowed to sleep in the same bed. Uh, da, 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 static lately. Relationships. Yeah, he she's married. Oh, hold on. To he the mayor's a she okay well that makes that makes sense I go to relationships they have a daughter hmm. the mayor's his wife and the mayor is a daughter all right which is kind of bad when they're in the military because 
they can't time to die and their family members get upset all right let me make sure the farm farm or the cooks still are not preparing easy meals for some reason all right I don't know maybe they don't have enough eggs all right so they're making pots they're making stones and it seems like they're actually these shops aren't having a problem creating ores I don't know maybe that's or a bug of some sort that uh, is causing a problem okay we got lots of golden ores as we see here and when we're speaking of it I am going to go to nobles he's not mandating anything all right let me go ahead and see all these anvils we got down here I probably should melt those so let me go to Z stocks and we're going to find anvils it's a category by itself there it is so we got 13 anvils we'll just do M to melt M to melt and that's a great way to make iron and steel and we're going to go here and melt object put it on repeat so it melts all the ob items and I keep on making more charcoal you might need to make another furnace to keep up with this production unfortunately if you don't have a uh, a uh, furnace charcoal I mean like a magma furnace you, you have to you always have to constantly have uh, charcoal mm, that's some good sangria it's not a very dwarven drink that I'm drinking but uh, it's still pretty decent alright I don't see that we've got any oh there's two golden statues and are they making a third alright let's play some golden statues to increase the value of the room B for build S for statue I'm gonna put a golden statue here and a golden statue here and gold is pretty much except for platinum the highest value this really increases the value of the fort if you put that in there. Uh, maybe we should make a uh, statue garden with gold. Have we got any more gold ore down here? Yeah, we got some more. I'll follow the veins of ore. Why aren't we burying this? Is this like a cat? task what is the task test Danka's corpse you know I might have to set this to the the refuse bin to carry corpses shift enable all right definitely not a otherwise it would have been like a dwarf or otherwise it would have been buried over here so you may have to enable your refuse pile to carry corpses as well Cause apparently I guess it's a pet and they, th they think highly of it and they want to keep it and our gold look at all that gold we got and our, and our uh, mine carts bringing up all this gold that we dig up it's automatically bringing it up here and the smelter let's make sure is it's Milton's native gold all right bringing those golden statues up there DBC uh, that, uh, Gob Goblindorf died I'm gonna DBC the items that's D is designation B for uh, D. What does B stand for? I forget what it stands for. It's set building item properties and then C to claim. I don't know. You can hide things like stones that are sitting in the hallway, but I do that just so I can see everything. Oh, another baby girl. Yeah, I really don't know why they're not burying that corpse. 
Yeah, we need to build more clothes. And cloth. Cloth, not coat, dress. These dwarves are pansy like that. Some trousers. Socks. Alright. You know, there's if you use DF hack, which is an add-on program, you can kind of tell it specifically how many items to make. I don't I kind of avoid doing that. I don't know. Out of personal preference. Since I don't use any third party programs. Uh, another statue is ready. Well, gold doesn't really make anything like weapons or anything yet. Um it, it's really not good for making weapons, but it's really good for making, uh, like, uh, furniture, like statues, tables, chairs. I might, I, my legendary dining hall is pretty legendary already. I'm not, I'm not too concerned about that. Maybe I'll just put the golden statues in the statue garden, see how that is. Uh, you know, I could probably use another bed, two more beds. Add two more beds for the hall. Uh, eventually, you know, I'm surprised I haven't got any vampire deaths yet. Once I max out around 200, that's the, once you get over 200, you stop getting migrants. Once I get over 200, I might start building individual bedrooms because that means the Vampire threat is passed because we're not going to get any more migrants. Uh, I mean, the original seven dwarves, none of them are going to be vampires. It's just the migrants that show up at the fort. They can be vampires. And if you get to 200 and you don't get any more migrants, you're pretty safe not to get any more vampires. But I'm still concerned eventually we're going to get vampires. All right. Do, do, do. All right. And, you know, I feel like I should make a... I don't have any items to make plaster with. I'm thinking I'm thinking at this point to making a hospital. I don't know where to put the hospital. I'm probably going to put it away from them, these meeting areas. I want to dig. Dig up here. And start clearing out more area. You know, I probably should, at this point should try to find the magma so we can start playing around with that. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking about just trying to find the magma at this point, where it is. And it can be, where am I looking at this? 131, 130, 139. Look at this. If you look at the bottom right-hand corner, you see, like, the le the wet levels. They can go down pretty far. They go all the way down to zero. And below sub-level. Zero. And I think this is like hell. So we're going all the way back up. Now you can get magma way before then. But um, I guess at this point I should try to locate... Uh, locate something and in in, like get down there like that's what door should do you should basically get as deep as possible let's see dbc all right there's more stuff to claim i see here this is probably a weapon of some sort okay that is Ooh, shiny steel ball i'm uh, really not that much valuable all right um another boy is born all right Let's see, got lots of drinks, lots of food, lots of, well, not really that much meat, but. Oh, finally they just start 
to discuss. I forgot about my merchant. Um, wasn't discussed. I forgot my merchant, or not my merchant, but my mayor was set to military duties. I guess he's off military duties and finally allows us to. All right. Well, I always you always want logs. And all right. And minus iron, gold. You know, probably don't really need gold, silver, and steel. I don't think we got anything else we really need from that. Uh, seeds. I always get extra seeds just in case. Anvils, iron, and steel. You know, we probably don't need anvil because I'm not. I usually used to get iron just because I built a lot of serrated iron disc traps, but I'm not. So, uh, what else do we need? We need bodyware. Cheeses, drinks. All right. Need lots of drinks. Don't need cheeses. I'll get plump helmets, but I think I need meats. Where where are meats? Oh, there are meats. And I'm just gonna get the first couple pages of meats. Cause dwarves they need to eat meat, cause that's what dwarves do. They don't. They're not elves. They would eat plants. Do to do lots of lots of meats. Rat. I guess that's why we get a lot of rat meat, because I requested it. <laughs> we'll just do the first two pages. If I wasn't doing this Let's Play, I would do a lot more pages, just because. And, but I don't really want to take up everybody's time. Alright, stone cages. I don't want bags, I want... Let's get some thread. Bags, yarn, yarn, yarn. They'll bring printing of yarn. All right, so I think we're done. So we escape, let them go. Got two more, couple more statues there. Build S, statue, statue there, statue there, statue there. I need more statues. All right, let me check my nobles. Oops. And for noble screens, uh, he just needs the office. Looks like the decent dining quarters. There's enough statues in there, but I like to put a fourth one just to... Uh, make it look nice alright so now we just need to dig away burn some plants uh, more I, I feel like I should almost put this on repeat because we need a lot of charcoal this is why you need a magma and maybe I'll get down to digging to the magma alright let, let's just do that F5 all right, let me just do D for designation. And we're going to... We've got a lot of ways to mine. This is going to take a while. <laughs> I don't remember what time... Yeah, I remember what time I started. So let's see, D for mine. We want uh, up and down stairways, which is I. And we're going to dig all the way down. Hopefully, because I'm digging in the corner, we're not going to run into any caverns. Oh, yeah. Stupid. I was paused, too, and it still gave me that menu. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it too much. At this point, our goal is to dig as deep as we can and find as many minerals as possible. And hopefully, we won't run into any caverns.
I'm only on like 115, 114. Yeah, this is going to take a while. You know, I'm paused too, and it still popped that up. I don't know, maybe it's moving slowly as I. Because technically, this is supposed to be paused, and it's still giving me those menus. And this is why I kind of want to avoid making a pump stack to get lava, because you have to design 102 different pumps. And you can imagine the construction time of each pump has to be made out of magma safe material. And I mean, people do it all the time. It's just that it's really tedious. So much that I think making charcoal is a lot better. Maybe I'm not being very dwarfy, but. Alright. Hopefully, we'll, magma might even be a lot higher than this, but. Uh, we don't know. We'll find out. When we get to the point where they find magma, they'll probably die burning or something. That's alright. We'll just hopefully... And one thing to let you know about digging very deep. There's some serious dangers about digging into something called adamantium. I don't want to spoil... They, they say it's a spoiler. But... Uh, let me just say there's fun to be had if you open up a adamantium core and it turns out to be hollow. I'm sure you can read up on the forums you want to find out, but basically it's more or less something you should do on your own without a tutorial and find out the joys. Oh Jesus, I'm on only 62. My hands are getting tired. Digging all the way down. Hopefully we won't run into any caverns on the way. If we run into caverns, I'll have to immediately pause it and then build a wall. Because I don't want any forgotten beasts like coming through. Generally, if you build in the corners, you're not going to run into any for like open caverns. But it's not 100%. Uh, it's not 100% accurate. And hopefully we'll run into some met the deep metals. I don't know what the deep metals are, but... You always get adamantium on the uh, deep metals, I guess, but all all sites have adam adamantium. Uh, Forty-four. Oh, my hands are getting tired. Thirty-four to go. All right. So, how are you guys doing tonight? If we leave any comments in the post, let me know how you like this so far. If you've watched this far, I mean, you're probably dedicated fans. Or, oh, Jesus, not another. All right. I don't care about that. I and mean, the game is technically paused. What the? All right. It un. I don't know. All right, it unpaused it and then screwed my thing up when it did that. All right. Not D. I want uh, I. I'm going to be digging all the way down. Probably should do this a lot. Say I should have did this a different way. Had like known safe so I didn't have to start over again if like if a, if a monster shows up and I have to seal it off, it might be a problem. I might try to kill it, but it might be an unkillable monster, which happens on occasion. Like, you get, like, a, sp like a sponge or a steel monster, which is basically unkillable. All right, 13 away. I'm going to stop at zero, because I think below that's hell. 
Ah, oh, Jesus, stop it. Stop it. I'm tired of your damn message about trading already. I'm getting frustrated here. This, this is why I don't like digging down the magma all the time. You can, it's, it's a pretty big world. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. You know, I'll we'll probably get the magma before that. I just got to keep an eye on what's going on. I don't want them to burn to death, but we'll probably lose a miner in the process. All right, another birth of girl. All right, a five. Dun, 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 shift down. All right. Hmm. It's good sangria. And they're digging. Digging, digging, digging. Let's see. I'm just gonna follow them down to see what kind of rocks they got. Is that marble? Marble's pretty good to bake statues with, but uh, I like. I think that's magma safe. All right, keep going. I probably should explore the more mining on that. All right, we're gonna highlight. I'm surprised I haven't got any caverns. The alpacas there. And what is this? I like to check the minerals as we're going down just to see. Hewn. Nice. I don't know what that is. Ah, jeez. This is why I hate these menus because, well, when they give birth, it pauses the game and it moves it to um, the screen, and so you lose your place. Especially if you're in a menu. All right, I'm gonna build some beds while we're here, and build statues. So his, his office is going to be nice, and make sure we got while we're up here. We got plenty of charcoal. F5 to the last place, and zoom down all the way. They dig to the center of the earth. We could die horribly at this point. I don't care. That's what I'm doing. What the goal of this game is to actually show you, like, how to play this game, how to how to get to the good stuff. We might actually do an amantium dining. I can't never pronounce that right. Admantium. It's, isn't that what uh, Wolverine's claws are made out of? I don't know. All right, they're digging faster than. Going pretty fast there. I'm kind of glad. Let's see what kind of rock this is. And you know what they made this game? They made some pretty accurate. Okay, we're getting pretty far down. Slade is kind of. All right. We found a cavern, and I need to do something about that. All right. Uh... Bear with me just a moment. All right. Hold on one second. Not now. Sorry, somebody's trying to talk to me. All right, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do here. All right, bear with me just a moment. We found an underground cavern, and it happened to be in the corner, but this is... We press enter to close this window. Make sure we got zoom. All right. All right, we got to lava. Okay, we're good. We're not too... All right. Um... Is this lava or is this mud? Okay, I thought this was lava. All right. Mm. All right. 
this is going to give some temporary temporary problems we need to wall this off without without let me just see what we got here is this is open space all right yeah it's open space I'm just making sure pile of mud. All right. We need to take care of this without. Problem is, what happens is when you're in a in a, in a cavern um, that you're going to be eventually invaded by a beast of sorts. A forgotten beast from the forgotten depths. All right, and usually when they dig in the corner, that usually avoids it, but in this case we haven't. And I'm trying to figure out. All right, we need to. All right, so this was down arrow, downward slope, pile of mud, open space. I'm going to deal with this. All right. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to deal with this. Trying to think of a good th something good to do. How to how to kind of avoid getting mauled here by the monsters that are coming in. At the same time, dig around this, and I think I see a way to avoid that. All right. Looks like there's some cave spiders down here. All right. Well, the first thing first is that we're going to mark this area off. Let's see where are we at. Where did we we dug right here. So once we breached it, I don't think they All right. I'm at D uh, D X We don't want to dig any further. So we're not going to end DX. Right, we want to dig that out. All right. Resume, dig, 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 dig. All right. I'm going to build. Let me make sure they didn't go down. I think they went. All right. They didn't go down. All right. I'm going to mark this area with a hotkey F6. Zoom here. Oops, Z, zoom here. Build C floor. Can we build a floor? I forgot my basics here. Hmm.
I know what to do. I'm going to have them remove the uh, some more migrants. A good thing I saved that thing because I know where they're going. All right. So that's going downstairs. Can I be able to see floor? Yeah, but I don't want to build. I want to build C upstairs. Basically what I'm doing is I'm I'm basically covering this hole up just in case we get a forgotten beast that shows up in there. And then we're going to cover that up. I'm leaving the one upstairs for now to cover that up. I'm just trying to dig away around this. All right, so they built the. All right, so they built the upstairs as you saw there, and I use the menus B, capital C, and then choose U for upstairs to get that. So I am going to do D as a designation. Remove upstairs ramps. They can get up the other stairs by now. Good thing I saved that because otherwise we'd be having to go down. And I didn't get that far down either. Alright. So basically what I'm doing is I'm avoiding the cavern. Eventually some monster will show up. But they, they won't be able to deconstruct the stairs. They'll monsters can't deconstruct from underneath. It's kind of rule of thumb. Alright. Build C uh, upstairs. Slate. And now we are going to, based on my guesstimates, Designate, not door, back out, D for designate, I for up and down arrow. You can see what I'm doing here. I'm kind of avoiding the cavern. way we avoid the caverns. All right, let me just make sure I D for designation, X to remove designation. Move those. All right, move those. And there. Actually, we needed those D. Uh, we want downward stairways, actually. We don't want it to go above that. All right, downward stairways. D. And now we're start, we'll start digging back downstairs. All right, looks like we've got to the time limit that I had set beforehand. Um, I think we're doing pretty good. We're kind of getting to our nobles. To looks like they've satisfied the decent office requirement. 
Uh, we're building gold statues, which actually increases the value of our fortress here. Other objects, that's a lot of value there. Created wealth. So we're doing pretty good. We'll probably get invaded soon because of all the wealth we've created. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it and we'll continue on another video. Um, and we'll get we'll dig further down, hopefully get to the magma and see if we can get to that good stuff down there. So thanks for watching this video and I wish you wish you all good night. Good night.